Hello, it's me, Teresa. I am busy traveling through Umbria with Lamat. I have already spent a week on Borgo Culotti, a village in the middle of the forest near to Perugia. Lemat has suggested another place full of mystery in Umbria called Canara, which is also a small village near to Assisi, where they live a simple life, but one with particular charm of a little Italian village. An Easter festival will be celebrated during the time that I will be there. I am eagerly looking forward to what awaits me. I ask Antonio from my hostel, La Tana Libera Tutti, what the meaning of this festival is. Perché tutto il paese di Cannara si ritrova qua in questa piazza. And he tells me that the villagers simply all get together. When I arrive at the hostel, I feel as though I am welcomed by the whole village. Although the hostel La Tana Libera Tutti was once a monastery, it is now totally accessible for everyone, as they have thought of everything. And there are absolutely no barriers. I very quickly meet other guests from the hostel. At breakfast I get to know a friendly family from Milano. We spend the day together going to the bar, the Easter procession and an open air concert in the museum garden. I feel completely at home in the whole village, as if the hostel and the village are one. There is always someone to meet and someone to speak to. <laughs> the hostel has a library full of literature on travelling, alluring us to embark on an imaginary journey. Cannara il sindaco apre le porte a tutto il mondo. One can also explore the area by bicycle, unhurriedly riding through the fertile Umbrian Valley, surrounded by its undulating hilly landscape. This is where the Monte Zubasio lie, and the ancient nearby towns Assisi, Spello, Montefalco, Bivania and Spoleto. On my last day here, I am invited by the other hostel guests to go on an outing to Colomancho. At the top of this hill, we find the remains of a Roman settlement. We learn that the most impressive mosaic now displayed in the Museum of Canara was originally found there. It has been very moving meeting the people working here. I find it especially difficult to say goodbye to Mariana, Madalena, Antonio, Francesco and Sonia. But I am extremely glad that I have been able to experience this kind of travelling and I am already looking forward to my next travels with Lamat.